hello and welcome back to my channel so today ladies and gentlemen prepare yourselves because we are going places we've never been before on my channel i'm talking all things personal hygiene from head to toe the last i heard on this topic was in seventh grade health class and that was a very very long time ago so with all of that being said we're gonna get started in the area that really hits most to me and that is breath because now in today's society now that we're all wearing masks your breath doesn't really affect others as much as it affects yourself. You're breathing in your own funk. So we just gotta keep it fresh and it's very easy. A huge, huge factor that a lot of people don't realize contributes to bad breath is dehydration. Most of us are chronically dehydrated. Just making more of an effort to drink your water, stay nice and hydrated, it's gonna help keep your breath fresh. And that's why morning breath is a thing, okay? Overnight, our mouth gets more dry, we are producing less saliva, so we wake up in the morning, bark and fire. Specifically, green tea has been found to contain compounds that help fight that funky bacteria on your tongue and help freshen up your breath. So if you're in a pinch, things are feeling funky, get yourself some green tea. I don't think I've ever said funky so much in one video. So just brushing and flossing is not enough. Have you ever looked at your tongue? You see that film that's on there? Yeah, that's uh, bacteria. We wanna get that off. An extremely easy and effective way to do that is with this right here, a tongue scraper. I have tried a lot of different ones, and I will say the stainless steel is the way to go. They're easiest to clean, they're most sanitary, and they work. The craziest fun fact about using one of these babies, once you get that layer off of your tongue, not only is your breath gonna be fresher, you can actually taste food better. It helps free up your taste buds. It's kind of crazy. I'm like waving this around like I'm the magical tongue scraping fairy. Next up, Smart Mouth. This is a zinc oxide based mouthwash. Zinc oxide will go in and kill those sulfur molecules. That is the source of the funk. It goes so far that I would say Smart Mouth has saved my marriage. This cuts back on morning breath. It doesn't get rid of it 100%, but I would say like 80 to 85% better. So next, level we're gonna talk about is just general smelling good because I am a smell person. I love a good fragrance. It makes me feel a certain way. It makes me feel put together. So what I use and love and swear by for fragrances is Scentbird. I have talked about them many times on my own. They are very kindly sponsoring today's video. The problem with regular perfumes is that A, they're expensive, and B, when you buy a bottle, you're committing for a long time. And that's just not how I work. I like a different fragrance depending on my mood. I like to try a variety of things. And that is where Scentbird is brilliant. So you select your fragrance and they will send you for only $15 a month your super large deluxe size vial. So you can either A, try it before you buy it, or B, just use this because that's what I do, okay? This one vial will last me for months because I don't use a lot, a little goes a long way. I'm on the plan where I now get three a month because I like to smell all the things. They have hundreds and hundreds. Any brand fragrance you could think of, they even have more natural ones like Ness, all the way up to Versace, Prada, high-end designer fragrances. Here's what you get. You can twist it up and spray the fragrance on yourself that way, or pull it out and you can see how much fragrance you're getting. This is eight times bigger than a typical sample size, and everything is 100% authentic. They work directly with the brands. If you don't know what fragrance to pick and you have a hard time deciding, they have this really cool quiz feature on their website. You can take a quiz, say what your preferences are and they will recommend fragrances for you and hot tip they have colognes as well so i picked up last month this creed for men for ryan this is a 435 dollars fragrance retail if you have not heard of this it's one of the highest rated most iconic colognes and oh my goodness stop what you're doing get this for your man and this is a recent favorite of mine it's called skylar by vanilla sky and this is the most decadent, luxurious vanilla scent. It's not too sweet if you're more into florals. I also love this one, Sicily. The top notes on this are floral with bergamot, but it has an undertone of citrus. It's really nice and balanced. So they gave me an amazing offer for you guys to get 30% off your first month. That's only $10, so definitely something you should take advantage of. This is the most cost-effective, best way to go if you are a fragrance person like me. You wanna be smelling good and fresh all the time. Another way that I like to use my perfume since we're on the topic. I spray my hairbrush. Oh gosh, look at that postpartum hair loss. Is I spray it on my hairbrush, kind of air it out, and I brush my hair with it. And let me tell you, 
This beautiful scent stays in my hair all day long. It distributes the scent. I just love it. This is one of my favorite fragrance hacks. Other little trick I like to do, you could spray tissue paper with your favorite perfume and put that in your drawers with your clothing. Your clothing will have a nice, soft, subtle fragrance to it as well. It's just such a pleasant experience. Now, when I open my drawers, I'm like transported. Now we're going down under. This is the thing we should feel comfortable talking about. It's not weird unless you make it weird. The first thing I would like to say, just a public service announcement, and a lot of people might not realize this, is that your lady parts have a different scent depending on the type of the month and what is going on with your hormones. So it is normal to have a variation in scents, you know, cervical fluid changes throughout the month. And I wasn't as fully aware of that until I was trying to conceive and having difficulties and had to study the science of what's going on in the reproductive system. So just know that is normal. Unless it is a very bad, foul smelling odor, it's probably normal. The goal isn't to smell like flowers down there. That's why we have perfume, okay? We can smell nice up here. Down here, you just wanna be neutral. Very, very, very important. Cotton underwear, 100% cotton underwear. There is now a trend of all these synthetic fabrics. You want cotton because that is breathable and you want the area to have ventilation. Keep it nice and fresh and breathable and dry. Dry is also very important. Sweating in the area is going to lead to a bacterial buildup. I feel like by 2021, most of us should know that douching is not a thing that anybody should be doing. Your vagina has a very sensitive pH balance, so you don't want to use any harsh soaps or detergents or really anything that scented at all. It's a very delicate ecosystem that you don't want to disrupt. A lot of what I read said you don't even need to use soap. You can just use a washcloth and warm water. And if you are going to use soap, you want to use something that is unscented and pH balanced. The pH is around 4.5. So that's kind of the zone you want to stay in. This is a specialty organic intimate area cleaner. The vagina is actually self cleaning. So that's why you don't have to clean inside. You just have to focus on the outside area. Now this you might have learned in seventh grade health class, but maybe you forgot because when I asked a few of my friends, if they knew this, Two out of three said no. This goes for you, and this goes if you have a young baby, I have a daughter, you always wanna wipe from front to back. That is because you don't wanna bring the bacteria from the back up to the front. This one hurts a little for me, and that is just watch out for wearing tight clothes all the time, because like I was saying, you wanna keep the area dry and well ventilated, and when you're like me and you refuse to wear anything besides leggings, you know, it's uh, constricting. So you want to limit your time that you spend wearing very tight clothes. You know, even a jogger is gonna be more breathable than wearing these super tight leggings all the time. After having sex, make sure you immediately pee after. Peeing is very very important because it helps release bacteria and minimize your chance of getting a UTI. And ideally you want to take a shower, a little quick body shower. If you're not able to do that for whatever reason, what your best friend is going to be, where, where's my best friend? Water wipes. They're designed for babies, but they're 99.99% just water. There's no chemicals or anything else bad on there. You can use that to just wipe down the area, give it an extra clean. Now I also read there are certain probiotics you can take. I will link to one below. This is healthy bacteria that you're introducing into your body that helps fight the bad bacteria and that helps neutralize and minimize odors. And this particular one has cranberry extract which can help prevent getting UTI. So if that is something that you deal with, you may wanna look into that. Also, one thing I just wanna talk about because nobody warned me, nobody told me, but when I was pregnant, like I was sweating profusely. And so what I would do, my little trick is I would either wear a panty liner that I could switch out a few times a day, keep things nice and fresh. And really the best, most simple, easy thing you can do is shower every day, just take a quick body shower at minimum. That alone is gonna go a very long way. So that is going to wrap up what I am calling part one of my feminine hygiene tips. I have a lot more talking about things like ingrown hairs, other body odor situations and tips. So if you would like to see a part two, give this video a thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite fragrance of all time? I would love to try out some of your favorite fragrances for my next Scentbird perfume order. So if you are a fragrance person, definitely try it out. You can get your first month for a huge discount if you use the link and my code in the description box. So definitely try it out. And with all of that said, I will see you soon with a new video. Bye. 
Do you notice that people leave the room when you walk in? Does your wife not want to get close to you anymore? I love you. Do even your kids act weird when you're around? Daddy, what smells? Well, you're probably barking straight fire. It smells like a literal garbage truck in your mouth. It's time to take the trash out forever with Smart Mouth. Just one quick swish a day will make all your bad breath go away. Now, the only thing funky is the music.